Over the past 50 years, the world's population has doubled to almost 8 billion people and will continue to climb. Synthetic fertilizers and pesticides have allowed food production to keep pace with this explosive population growth. But that has come at a price. Agriculture is responsible for 24% of global greenhouse gas emissions, and current practices cause major problems like toxic runoff, soil loss, and decreased nutrition. We need to make our entire food production system more sustainable to continue to feed the planet and avert a climate catastrophe. The Wies Institute is confronting this problem by creating new technologies to decarbonize food production, from crops to consumption, enabling a more sustainable and healthy future. Wies scientists leveraged recent advances in synthetic biology to re-engineer the machinery of microbes to solve some of these problems. Kula Bio's commercially available microbe-based fertilizer supercharges bacteria so they can supply nitrogen to food crops with great efficiency. These microbes colonize the soil and are less likely to contribute to runoff, which can cause toxic algae blooms. When they die, they decompose naturally, increasing carbon nutrients in the soil. Kula Bio's fertilizer requires a fraction of the energy used to produce synthetic fertilizers and can be integrated into current farming practices. Circe is a Wies startup that is also harnessing the power of microbes, reprogramming them to consume greenhouse gases and produce food-grade fats. Most nutritional fats found in food today are produced from animals or plants, which are inefficient and use unsustainable amounts of water and land to produce. Circe's microbe-produced fats have a much lower carbon footprint, improve the mouthfeel and flavor of plant-based foods, and can be seamlessly incorporated into food manufacturing pipelines. Another Wies startup, Tender Food, is producing synthetic meats such as pulled pork, chicken, and steak that are made from plants. These meats are made using a manufacturing process like a cotton candy machine, which was originally developed at the Wies to create artificial heart valves. Now this technology is being used to turn vegetable proteins into muscle fibers, simulating the texture and complexity of meat without using any animal products. Tender's meats are already being sold and are available to eat in Somerville, Massachusetts. These teams are currently tackling other food-related challenges, such as breaking down bad sugars before our bodies absorb them through a collaboration with Kraft Heinz. But we aren't stopping with food either. We're also working on additional problems in sustainability, like development of portable, low-cost water purification devices for polluted regions, and finding environmentally friendly ways to break down plastic waste. The future challenges this planet faces due to climate change, including food and water scarcities, are great. But by leveraging the Wies Institute's strengths across many fields and disciplines, we are developing entirely new approaches with which to confront and overcome these global threats.